Social and emotional learning, also known as SEL, plays a critical part in education and human development. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Holliday, Secretary of Education. Thanks for letting me share a few words on some very important work taking place in Delaware schools and communities. As practitioners, we know and research confirms that when students are better able to manage their emotions and relationships, they demonstrate better classroom behavior, improved ability to regulate emotions and handle stress, and exhibit self-images that are far more positive. So I feel like transitioning from fifth to sixth grade was a lot different from transitioning from fourth to fifth and third to fourth because it was all virtual and it was all new learning environment. I feel like sometimes when I'm overwhelmed, now I know sometimes to take a step back and think about my reaction. So I definitely think that just being there for each other all around is very helpful, socially and emotionally. Just being able to go to a student or go to teachers and staff when I'm not having a good day and asking for help and the staff is always willing to help, especially teachers are always willing to ask and answer questions that I have. Sometimes students just have that, that issue of trying to manage their emotions. Um, students, you know, they, they come in with a myriad of obstacles and sometimes they have anger issues. Sometimes students are depressed. Sometimes students are sad. Um, and it could be for, for a number of any reasons. Research shows that SEL makes a difference. I think kids face a lot of challenges inside and outside of school, so we need like, all the help that we can get to try to deal with our reactions to things. Students, teachers, families, and whole communities agree that social and emotional learning belongs in schools at all grade levels. I feel that as educators, we, you know, our job description goes well beyond the three R's. Uh, involved in all of that, the many, many hats that we wear, somewhere in there is also the fact that we help children navigate the world, and that's where social emotional learning comes in. Our vision is Unidos, in a more just, inclusive, and kind world. Our mission and vision is lived each day in our school community, integrating academic achievement and the social emotional growth of our students. La Academia ensures a safe, nurturing, and welcoming school environment that promotes a structured, rigorous, and positive classroom to nurture our students' growth. What we teach is equally as important as how we teach. What students learn is equally as important as how they learn. Yes, Our Kings? Can I go take a break? Sure, grab the timer. How many minutes do you get? Three. Perfect, go ahead. Kings, can you tell our friends what you can do when you're taking a break in the cool down area? What you can do when you're, taking, when you're taking a break. So what can you do? Ask for a three minute break. And then what? And then get, put, get that three minute timer, set it, and then use one of these for, for your 10 minutes. So you can pick a fidget to help you calm down? Yes, you could. And what are the rules for when you're in the break area? And not talk that loud. And what else? And, and let the other kids focus what they're doing. Right, so the, they focus if you have a quiet mouth on what? And a quiet body. A calm, calm body. body. Perfect. Thanks, Kings. You're welcome. When you think about learning, it's actually social and emotional. If you think about anything you actually learned, whether it's to play a sport or to cook or whatever, the relationship you had with the person that you were actually learning with actually helps you actually learn the work itself. So when you think about social and emotional learning, it's not necessarily a buzz term, it's actually that learning is social and emotional. And what we tried to do is we, we started by asking a lot of Delawareans, about 4,000 of them up and down the state, what would a well-educated young person need to know and be able to do uh, in 2025? 
We've added in all of our trainings, for example, those mindful moments and the brain breaks and the things that we as adults are seeing make a difference. And in doing that kind of experience um, and really feeling it ourselves, we're better able to plan activities and engage our students in things that are so meaningful to them. To this end, the Delaware Department of Education has been working with the Collaborative for Academic, Social, and Emotional Learning, or CASEL, since December 2018. We have adopted CASEL's wheel, framework, and the five core social and emotional learning competencies that benefit all individuals. Self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision making. Since 2022, we have released K-12 SEL competencies, align them with preschool social and emotional learning standards, and crosswalk them with K-12 academic content standards. The challenges consist of dealing with um, a lot of anxiety, being within the classroom and being face-to-face -face with other students. It's still dealing with the normal day-to-day -day things. You know, we have students that come in here who uh, don't have like a permanent home or you know they don't have all of their family members alive or they um, are you know dealing with uh, the struggles of being able to find food. Delawareans care about children and because of that engagement in the heart we're seeing a difference in the way we apply the work that we do. We think it's going to build a healthier student but it'll also build a healthier workforce. We know that these are the skills that employers are looking for we know that we create a healthier Delaware when all of us have access to the same opportunities. And I think we are in a climate right now where we're making that happen, we're bringing that to life. And so we want our students to be prepared for life. This is work that really combines your mind, but it engages the heart. To learn more about social and emotional learning, visit education.delaware.gov.